Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. So today's video I am going to be experimenting with machine quilting. As you probably know from my announcement video a couple weeks ago, I am making a 18th century maternity outfit and one of the pieces from that outfit is going to be a quilted petticoat. So machine quilting. This is a whole other beast that I have never really kind of explored. I am an absolute beginner when it comes to free motion quilting and so today is mostly just going to be me experimenting with my free motion foot and just trying to figure out the whole logistics of starting and stopping and making everything kind of look nice-ish. Hopefully. I'm so nervous about this. Oh my goodness guys, I'm so nervous about this and I really hope it turns out. I know this is just like the experimenting and having fun part, but I'm still nervous. All right, so the tools that I need for this are slightly different than if I was going to be hand quilting it, obviously. The first one being a free motion foot. So I found this one on Amazon. I will link it down below if you are interested. It is for a low shank machine. Now this one is not the Janome brand. I wasn't sure how much I'd like it so I didn't really want to spend $70 on a quilting foot if I wasn't going to actually use it again. So I bought a generic low shank free motion foot just so I can kind of dip my toes in the water to see if I actually like this. I'm hoping it won't cause me too much hassle because I know with some off brands they can make the whole thing even worse than if you're using one that was actually made for the machine you're using. There are a couple different techniques that I want to try today. The main one is creating feathers. The design that I've kind of created for my petticoat has feathers kind of swirling up and down along the bottom of the hem and so I really need to practice like the motions of how to figure out the feathers and like some are going to be longer and shorter and just making everything fit together. So uh, that's going to be an interesting process. And then of course it's just like learning different techniques because this is something that I'm completely new at as I have mentioned multiple times already. All right so I have mentioned the free motion foot. I also picked up some quilting gloves. I don't know how much of a difference these will actually make, but they have grippy fingertips, so I think it should help with like the moving of the fabric. And because this is my first time quilting, I am more than happy to try anything that will help me a little bit more. So I've seen in a couple videos online that some people use them and some people don't, but yes, I, I just picked these up also from Amazon. Again, I will link them down below. They're not bad. I bought the size medium large. They have a guide on the back that tells you what what size you should be getting uh, or approximately with your hand. So my hand says the medium large. So that's the one I picked up. This is the fabric I'm going to be using and then some of the batting that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to be doing samples on this just to see how it quilts up. And then for a bigger one, I've got a bigger piece um, that I can practice on as well. With this one, I'm going to try and use the thread that I have planned for quilting just to see what it all looks like. And then the gray, it'll be easier to see what the design actually looks like when I'm quilting. So I think it's time to get started. Um, Wish me luck!
friends it has been a couple days and i've just been playing around with my machine just experimenting and just trying to get used to the motion of free motion quilting because the machine stitch length doesn't mean anything it's really like trying to figure out how to make the machine speed match your hands for the stitch length that you want so it definitely takes some time and some practice and it's something that I'm going to continue practicing. I have made several different samples, just experimenting with the motion, of course, and then also experimenting with the shapes of the things that I'm going to be putting on my own quilted petticoat. So one of the big features that I'm going to have on my petticoat is feathers and so it's just trying to figure out which type of feathers that I want to use. There's like the bounce back or the teardrop feathers or heart feathers or whatever they're called and it's just trying to figure out which one I like best for the design that I'm creating. The one that I've mostly practiced is I believe it's a continuous feather. The bounce back one is where you Restitch over areas that you've stitched on and so I know I want this to look more Authentic, but since I am using machine I won't fully be able to replicate what they would have done back then just for Time's sake. I think the machine quilting will definitely be faster, but it definitely won't have the same look exactly as one that was hand quilted. But your girl is not crazy and I do not have time for hand quilting no matter how much I want to do it. And I don't think my body would be able to stand quilting a full petticoat in less than a month. So yeah, there's that. So machine quilting it is. I think things that I've learned from this so far is one, remember to lower your feed dogs because I forgot to do that for my first sample and uh, it was just really messing with the the groove and by forgetting to disengage those I wasn't able to pull the fabric backwards. So when I was doing my first sample this one I mostly just did feathers and swirls and for the most part like it was my first time doing it and I think it came out really good. The feathers on the side here I really like. But yeah, definitely getting used to the motion and there's like small sections in here where I'm like, wow, that's so pretty. And then there's other sections where I'm like, wow, that's, that's an interesting looking design. <laughs> um, so just keeping an eye on where I'm like starting and stopping. Um, I think most of the videos that I watched said that you want to kind of stop in places where you cross over things or there's a moment where you have to start going backwards just to keep the the stitching kind of smooth. And then also you want to stop where your needle is down so the fabric won't move. That's that's something I definitely have to work on because when my needle is down the presser foot is also down at least for my free motion foot. And so that's something like I'm I'm still learning how to do this and is definitely going to be a process. I'm definitely going to be learning for a while. I am definitely not proficient at it yet, but I think just like in general what I'm doing, it's I'm learning a new skill. I'm I know I'm going to be bad at it, but you have to be bad at things to be able to get better at them. So, yeah, thank you for coming to my TED talk. <laughs> Anyway, so yes, this one had the polyester filling, um, the fiber filling, and then this one, which was the one that I was working with my bigger feathers, uh, just trying to get the, the shape of the design. I used a mixture of cotton batting and the polyester batting. And I definitely like how much smoother the cotton batting was. And I think I'm gonna actually try combining it in my real petticoat where I'm gonna use like a section, probably the feathers where I use the combination of the polyester batting and the cotton batting together just to give that extra loft. All right, I think that's everything for today. I'm fairly happy with how my samples have come out and everything that I've just been kind of practicing on. I'm really excited to get started on the next step in this process, which is actually starting on my petticoat. So I am going to 
start working on that pretty much as soon as I finish filming this, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Before I actually get into the quilting of that, I know I'm going to be doing a lot of basting. So I might spend like the next day or two just basting the fabric together. The actual panels that I'm going to be working on are just going to be the front and the back, which is 75 inches wide. And I think it's 50, 54 inches long. Um, just because I have to add seam allowance in there and all that fun stuff. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. I'm looking forward to this process though. And, uh, I hope, I hope my body holds up for this because it's, it's quite a workout. Like the past couple days, my, my biceps have been so sore just because you're, you're the one guiding the fabric and yeah, it's, it's crazy how much of a workout you can get from doing stuff like this. So anyways, that is it for today. Hope you enjoyed me floundering into the machine quilting world. And if you are going to be trying out free motion quilting as well, let me know in the comments. And yeah, I hope you all have a lovely day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Spending money that I don't have because I've got a lack of self-control. Oh, that's like my theme song.